inflation rises to the highest rate since June 2013. And the British Prime Minister is set to hold talks with the DUP members to form a majority. Let's see how the markets are shaping up. Here in London, it's looking pretty flat today. We've got gains both in France and Germany. So Britain's inflation has risen from 2.7% to 2.9%, keeping it well above the Bank of England's 2% target. The cost of foreign package holidays for British tourists was one of the main reasons for these rising in prices, as well as recreational and cultural goods and services, particularly games, toys and hobbies. They were also contributors as well to the rate. But the cost of fuel... Well, economists were expecting the rate to remain at 2.7%. Now, on Wednesday, we're awaiting the wage increase figure, which is expected to confirm real wages are shrinking. And Theresa May is set to hold talks with the members of the Democratic Unionist Party today to form a working government. Meanwhile, according to the Financial Times, the EU's chief Brexit negotiator has warned the British Prime Minister to sort out domestic matters so that the Brexit negotiations can begin considering the complexity of them. And talking of Brexit, there's been a new poll, this time by Reuters, which says two thirds of economists questioned believe there's now less of a chance of a hard Brexit. But it also concluded that the pound may weaken further against other currencies. Well, if we look at sterling now, we'll see what it's up to, because the reaction to this inflation figure was relatively muted. Uh, well, we've just come off of a daily high, uh, but it's still holding on to that 12729 area, as you can see just, just there. Um, OK, so we've also got the Bank of England meeting on Thursday too. Um, at the moment, as I say, it's at 12729, as you can see just there, up from the 126243 in early turnover. Now, the pair has now bounced off the 100-day moving average in three out of the last four trading sessions. OK, moving on, we're going to talk about some of the corporates that are moving the markets here in London because Merlin Entertainment, it's uh, falling today. It's 1.7% down in negative territory after it said that the recent terror attacks in both London and Manchester had led to fewer visitors to their sites, which include Madame Tussauds and Alton Towers. They also said that the attacks could have a knock-on effect on demand from foreign tourists in the coming months. As you can see, the share is down now 1.7%. Moving on, I want to talk about Ashstead because I mentioned it yesterday and actually we'll be able to see it's down just a fraction there so there might be some profit taking because they did release some very solid numbers today. It's an equipment rental firm and it is enjoying uh, strong gains in terms of its share price for the last year, um, posting 7%. That was in profits to £216.6 million. Now, the company has been gaining in value ever since Donald Trump was elected as a new U.S. president with his promise of $1 trillion in infrastructure projects. Now, most of their business is based in the U.K. and as a digger and a tool supplier, it's had a very positive impact on the balance sheets. Meanwhile, in Europe, the EU is set to propose controls over the clearing of euro-denominated derivatives which could force firms to move from London to the EU in the wake of Brexit. Uh, this is a top story and we believe it's going to be one of the negotiating themes uh, coming up when the Brexit talks do begin. OK, we want to look ahead and talk about Wednesday because we've got Germany's CPI reading coming out. We've got the UK's unemployment as well as the Eurozone first quarter employment change and industrial production. So those are going to be some of the biggest ones. But one of the biggest themes of the day has to be the FOMC meeting. Of course, we are expecting a raise of rates uh, to one to five percent it will be the second increase for this year we are going to be watching out for the commentary around the decision and whether more hikes will be coming later on in the year but also keep an eye for the discussion of the unwinding of the fed's balance sheet which uh, was raised earlier this year so it's a big day in terms of the economics before i let you go let's have one last look at the markets and see what's happening not a great deal here in london not much movement but we are looking at gains over in germany and france